Hello and welcome. It is time once again to try to fix something and today on the workbench I have an Xbox One S which I think is some kind of special edition. It's this olive green color. I'm no expert on them. Uh, but I kind of, I don't know, I'm a sucker for these special editions. The, the oddball, you know, versions of these consoles. And I think this is a no power. And uh, I was going to plug it in and just confirm that. But I'm seeing something in this grill right here which kind of makes me concerned. There's something sticky, nasty down in there. And the seller mentioned that uh, it was his personal console and it was a rumor that one of his kids had sprayed something inside of it. So instead of plugging this in, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart and let's just see if we see something, you know, on the main board. Because this, this right here is like a funnel. It just brings in everything, any kind of liquid that gets spilled. And I don't know why people are putting liquids around their consoles, but anyway. So let's get the top off this and we'll just look down in there before we try to power it on and see how bad it looks. Yeah, well, I would say uh, something may have been poured into this. Or it looks like the processor has sprung an oil leak or something. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's also all up under the uh, processor. Yep. All right, well, I finally got the heat sink off. It was kind of stuck. Yeah. Nice corrosion going on over there. Yeah, this is uh, going to have to go in a bathtub. I, think. I don't have an ultrasonic cleaner. I got some little something going on there. Something there. So I'm going to actually put this in a bathtub of water and see if I can, because I got a feeling this is probably something very sugary. Alcohol is not going to cut it very well. We're going to need some water. But uh, give it a good soak, good scrubbing. And then I'll dry it out with compressed air and leave it out in the sun for hours and, you know, dry it out thoroughly. But this is looking horrible. Yeah. Okay. Well, let the games begin.
right here we are in at the workbench after a, a nice cleaning and a thorough drying out uh, she's looking much better um, now we just gotta figure out what damage has been done Let's go to continuity mode if we could here uh, let's see find a good ground uh, do we have a short on our 12 volt rail? We do. 1.44 ohms. That's pretty low. Okay. Um, well, where the corrosion was, of course, it was around here. A good bit around here. You can go back and look at the video. And also, I believe, around this very top set of MOSFETs right here. Uh, these other ones, I think, were pretty clean. I'm not sure if I can see this without the microscope. Let's see, we have a short. Yeah, there's that same short right in there. This, of course, is one of the rails going into the uh, APU, GPU, whatever you'd like to call it. It's probably about a nine-tenths of a volt rail. And it may have just gotten 12 volts, which is not a good thing because if it's this one that's the high side MOSFET and if it shorts you get 12 volts if it's this one you short the ground but this one never seems to go it's always the high side one um, let's take a look under the microscope if I can What are we looking at here? Yeah. Is that the one? Yep. That's the one. That is, um, that's a different part number than is usually there. I thought there was usually like a 4N60 or something. That's what I've replaced it with in the past. Maybe they've used different part numbers. But that's where all that corrosion was. So let's look around there. Um, yeah, that's still a short there. Of course, this side's going to the APU. It's going to be low resistance, 0.84. What about this gate? Uh, the gate reads one and a half ohms. That's probably not good. So that's our starting point. Let's remove this MOSFET and see if our short goes away or if it changes in some way on our 12 volt rail. Oops, dropping things. Uh, where did I put my tweezers? I guess I'll just use these till I find them. Pin one in the upper left. I'll try to remember that. I'm trying to get this roughly centered up. And this is at 500 Celsius maximum airflow. It takes some heat. It looks kind of nasty under there, doesn't it? Okay. Now, uh, let me check on our 12 volt rail again. Nope, no short. No short. And if I check uh, right here. Yeah, no short, and on the gate, no short, and we should still have, yeah, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, ten, 9 tenths of an ohm going into the APU, if it survived, okay, now that's a different part number than I'm used to seeing there. Let's 
see if I can clean that up a little. Probably should have had my soldering iron on already. Very lucky this is all that we lost is one MOSFET. And yeah, those end caps do not look good on those caps, do they? I wonder if I can clean those up any. Or if they just need to go. Yeah, they're not wanting to take any solder, that's for sure. I think those caps are are done. Let's see. I don't remember what's, what value these are. I can look them up. Probably like 22 microfarads or something. They're big. Let me put a little leaded solder on the ends if I can get it to take it. Just to help remove that. Let's see if they want to let go. Now what's the value of those capacitors and do I have any? C9, D19. Ten microfarad, 25 volts. 1206 size. Let me look up in my parts bin. In microfarad, 25 volts, 1206. Is that right? Yeah, 10 at 25. C9 D19 and C9 D20. Yes. Well, then it's good. I do have some here. I thought I did because I've had to replace these before they uh, of course for this exact same reason they corrode like crazy well when you subject them to uh, liquids or sugary substances or whatever
Okay. Those look a little bit better. What about this MOSFET? See what I have here. Yeah, 4C50 is what I've replaced this with in the past. And that's what I'll replace it with today. Fresh solder down there. And on the pad for the gate. Okay. Turn this temperature down a little bit. I think we're sat down then. Make that look pretty, it doesn't want to look pretty. Mm. That little iron just doesn't have enough heat for it. Heat this flux up a little to help with the cleanup. Hard to get down in there. thing I was going to check before I apply power to this is that resistor right there. It just looks like it's had a hard day. Um, what is that R9030?
34.8k ohms quite an odd value measures 35k ohms all right I think we're good and there's the tweezers I was looking for all right uh, let me get you set back up or let me find a power supply I did check the power supply out in the garage the power supply is putting out 12 volts I may just go get that one I've got a I have a test one somewhere um, I have my tiny heat sink doesn't have much on it there and I need the button board all right, let me get some accessory items and we'll test this thing out. Well, I went out to the garage and I got the hard drive. I've got uh, this board, which I think is like a Wi-Fi Bluetooth. I'm not sure. And this is a board that's got the power button on it. Um, that's the power supply that was with it. Okay. What do you think is going to happen? Let me give it some power. It's got should have 12 volts on it now. Um, okay, no smoke. Let's see what happens. White the light. I'm oh, sorry, the white light wasn't in the picture. She's staying on. I've just got this little heat sink. Oh, the monitor locked. I think it locked, or that, or it went to sleep. One or the other. Okay, we're still on. I think the monitor's locked to something. I don't think it goes to sleep that quick. I unhooked it from a microscope. Wow. She's alive. Okay. All right, well, I've got a little more cleanup to do. Uh, like the heat sink and the uh, fan have got some of that same gunkiness on there. Let me clean that up, get the get everything cleaned back up and put back together. And we'll put this thing together out there. We'll, we'll, we'll turn it on out in the garage and uh, do a final checkout. How's that sound? That's encouraging, though. Well, here we are back out in the garage. And our Xbox One S olive green version is fully reassembled and I think ready to test. Uh, we are connected. Let's see what she does. Light stays on. I think the monitor locked to something. Come on. All right. Looks good. All right. This one's going to live again. It had a uh, had a rough go of it for a while, but. Uh, She's all better now. I well, hope you liked that one, enjoyed it, thought it was somewhat interesting or educational or something. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the very next repair. So long for now.